Hey everyone, today we're blasting off on NASA's Europa Clipper mission. Let's roll. Picture this. A Falcon Heavy lights up the night sky at Cape Canaveral. Flames roaring and smoke billowing. That's our ride to Jupiter. We bank around Mars, its red cratered surface whizzing by, grabbing speed from the Martian gravity. It's like a cosmic slingshot. Next up, Earth swoops into view, blue oceans and white clouds below as Clipper slings back toward the outer solar system. Epic, right? Fast forward to April 11th, 2030. We drift into Jupiter's realm, the gas giant's orange and white bands swirling all around. It's jaw-dropping. Over the next four years, we'll swoop past Europa 49 times. Imagine that icy crust rushing past your window, plumes of vapor dancing in the distance. Then the EIS camera kicks in, mapping every crack and ridge on Europa's surface in stunning detail. Think of it like Google Maps, only for an alien moon. Next, the Reason radar beam pulses through kilometers of ice, searching for that hidden ocean beneath. Science fiction or science fact? Our PIMS instruments and magnetometer then probe Europa's magnetic field, measuring salinity and ocean depth, because data is everything. When plumes erupt, Suda and Maspex taste the ejected ice grains, analyzing dust and vapor for clues to habitability. Tiny particles, huge discoveries. If you're as pumped as I am for this ocean world adventure, smash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss a beat. See you in the stars. Thanks for watching.